What's going on guys? Welcome back to another video, another special video, a little bit different from what we're used to, but we're going to talk about a few important things and why this particular stock might be, uh, you know, ready to explode here. So uh, before we get go ahead and get started, if you want to see more videos like this, you know, switching it up on my channel, giving you guys really everything educational, you know, fun and vlogs, you know, uh, you know, Sunday stock watch list, live trades where you can actually learn instead of someone saying, hey, this is how I made 5K today. I bought here and I sold here. All that fake stuff on the internet. Um, but yeah, hit that like button. Let's get 300 likes on this. We get 300 likes on this. Uh, you know, you, I'll get more videos. Let me just see if you guys like this. If you like this, we get 300 likes, then I'll make more videos like this and talk about other stocks that I like, uh, just like uh, Facebook. So, Let's go ahead and get started. What are we talking about here? We're talking about Meta, uh, which is also known as Facebook, launching its paid verification on Instagram and Facebook in the U.S. Uh, so this is something important to talk about just because, you know, this is going to work. Um, and they could have done this a long time ago. Now, they let Twitter go first, and Twitter had a big fail. Now, April 1st, Twitter is going to do the same exact thing where you can't have all of the, uh, you know, all that legacy well if instead of facebook so facebook and instagram is not going to take your blue badge away if you already had one uh twitter on the other hand elon musk has different uh you know a different thought in mind he wants to take away all the actual real badges and give you guys the the paid description it didn't work out with uh twitter because people were using it and just making it you didn't have to provide any identification it was weird like uh i remember uh you know someone made like a fake epi pen a company on there and verified it and not fake but they copied the name and just verified it i'm um, adding an extra letter and the stock ended up dropping like 12 percent. so you you know it, it didn't work out for twitter and it, it won't work out um unless they do it the same way you know instagram and facebook is doing it so the reason facebook and instagram is going to work out one i don't like it obviously because i have the real blue badge and now I all these you know people are going to have it too so it's not cool anymore but it's for the company, you know, so it makes a lot of sense. They're going to do it the right way where they're requesting, you know, identification. We'll go more into detail here, right? So it's eleven ninety nine per month on the web and then fourteen ninety nine per month on the mobile. Obviously, I haven't looked into it as far as like actually subscribing because I already have the real blue badge. Um, but you also have to be 18 years old. I believe I saw it yeah, right here 18 and you also need to complete the verification process and provide a government issued photo ID to confirm your identity before being approved for meta. All right. So it's a two factor authentication is also required. Meta verified subscribers won't be able to change their profile name, photo username or date of birth unless they're willing to complete the verification process again. So that's interesting. Um, this is, I guess, how it would look if you applied for it. So, yeah, I think it's a great idea for them. And I let me tell you why it's going to work, right? Now, one thing is Meta's been spending a lot on, like, you know, the Oculus stuff, the Metaverse. And, you know, a lot of people don't like that, especially a lot of investors, because they're basically essentially burning money on things that are not going to return anything currently. And, you know, obviously return in the next couple of years. And, you know, investors just don't like that because they don't feel like this is the time to be doing it. Now, something like this costs really no money to do, uh, essentially. And you're they're going to start seeing, you know, results pretty quickly in their earnings. And they do have earnings. I mean, earnings season just passed, but I just looked it up. It looks like they're going to have earnings in April. Right now, it's not confirmed, obviously. Um, but I do see that next earnings, they're going to see a very big jump uh, just due to so many people wanting to be cool and having the blue badge, right? Mm -hmm. So I think Meta, you know, F uh, Facebook and Instagram, they're going to kill it this earnings. And I do see that, you know, it's not taking account because the stock isn't really moving now. If I put this in the last five days, this just launched about a week ago. It's kind of stuck in the same area. So basically investors are looking at this just as another feature they're adding, but they're not really looking at how much revenue this can actually right, bring in, right? There's what, 2 billion users now on Facebook. Let's just say, you know, let's just say 30 million, 30 million people end up getting this verification thing. It ends up costing them on average $13. That's $400 million in extra revenue, right? So that's going to be very interesting to see how they take this into account. Now, the actual stocks chart doesn't look too hot, but I'll tell you why. 
Uh, it can. First of all, we're in consolidation, right? Now, I'm not saying go out here and buy Meta, first of all, right? That's not something I'm saying. What I'm saying is it's definitely something to look at coming into earnings, especially if we start having bigger dips in the market. And Meta, let's just say, for example, starts taking bigger dips just due to the market. It can't do anything. You know, obviously it can hold up well against the market, but if the overall market ends up dropping pretty hard, you know, Meta is going to have to come down regardless. For example, if SPY ends up dropping in the next week about 5%. Yeah, Meta might not drop 5%, but, you know, it'll be down 3%, on, for example, which is about, what, $6 at this 200 mark. So on dips, I'll probably be looking at this, maybe not this week. Uh, I you know I'll update you guys on trade like nor on Instagram. Like I said, I only have three Instagram accounts. Please don't get scammed. Nor trades, trade like nor stock hours. I am making an Arabic account for you guys for, uh, you know, just different languages. I'm gonna make it a Spanish account. But uh, not only that, I do have Twitter real nor ada where I update you guys a lot on there. So now if I look at the stock on the one year, right? We do have this overall, you know, uptrend that it ended up breaking above, but it ended up coming right back into it. It's kind of holding above here. It looks like it's bouncing off that trend again. The real breakout level is going to come after this 210 to 212 area. After that, we do have a lot of room on this. I do see, you know, this area getting, you know, this area getting passed through, which is like that 220 to 240 level. But that might actually come with earnings. So it's something to pay attention to, uh, you know, and I think they're just, not seeing the potential of what this blue badge can do now is it something that's going to last forever where you know they're going to continue to bring revenue are people going to get bored of this maybe but for the most part you know everybody wants to be cool you know it's a social status to have the blue check you know well it was at least now it's like whoever couldn't get it before now wants it now and it's the social status now like can you afford the 14 bucks uh but yeah, it's 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 important. People are gonna slide in DMs with these blue checks. You already know how it goes, guys. I don't really need to go too far into explanation, but you guys can see where I'm going with this, right? For the most part, Instagram is really for young people, right? Obviously, there's companies, older people on here, but for the most part, you know, it's just the youngins, people like me, um, you know, even younger people in high school. You know, they're posing blue check. You know, I've been verified in real life before. I've been verified on Instagram. You already know how the captions go, so. In the for the most part, I do see a very nice, you know, very nice revenue boost, at least for this quarter and the next into the summer before people at least, you know, in our thoughts might get bored of it. Uh, it's going to take a little while. So I like this. I am going to start looking into meta, uh, you know, more as we take more dips as far as like maybe buying longer dated calls or even buying shares, obviously, to be far more safer. But yeah, this is something that's pretty big here. You know, people are underlying. You could tell that nobody's really kind of paying attention to this, at least the last five days. Even if we go maybe the last 10, the reason the last 10 you might see an uptrend. Yeah, you can see that we played this, but the overall market came back up. For example, you know, Netflix today was pushed up for the last week. Like, look at this. Look on Netflix. I've been playing this nonstop. Even I caught it today. Uh, you know, the stock was at 285, touched the high of 336 today insane so you know the overall market's been going higher so the last 10 days obviously meta is going to be higher as well um and this is just something to pay attention you got to notice these little things a lot of you don't know how to prepare for you know companies what to look for into companies these are certain things where you see integration and nobody's kind of noticing it and then you're like you know okay how much revenue can this actually bring in and, and this is one of those stocks where it's part of the fang which is the popular you know, big techno tech companies that have a lot of momentum, Apple, you know, Facebook, Amazon, Netflix, Google, um, you know, Microsoft is kind of in there, but they call it, they have another, uh, you know, name for that. It's like MAGA or something like that. But, uh, you know, this is something I'm definitely looking into and you guys should definitely look into it. If you're looking for some long-term stocks for the hold for the next year or two, this is definitely something to add to your portfolio. Now, you don't buy it on new highs when you're doing this long-term stuff. That's not how you play this game. You buy it on the dips. For example, this ends up taking a dip to like 195. Maybe I'll I'll do, you know, 10%, right? I'll add 10%. Like let's just say my average or what I would like to, you know, be in Facebook or Meta would be, you know, 100 grand overall for me, right? I would, you know, and I want to start dabbling my feet into it. When it takes those dips, I'll do 10% of a position. And then it takes another dip, 10% of the dip. So you don't go full position right off the bat just because you see something other people don't, right? You, you don't know what the market has in store. Because if the market takes a dip, 
Now you're going to be down 12% and then on earnings day or past earnings in the next three months, it's going to be up 12% and you really did nothing. You just made back what you were down. So what you do is with these long term, you take, you start taking little positions in certain spaces and you plan them out. You know, my first position maybe on Meta will probably be around 196. Do I know how much I'm going to put in? No, I'll probably put 10%, for example, right? I can end up putting 20%. But I'm going to dabble my feet into this. This is definitely something to pay attention to. I'll start doing more stocks like this where I notice, you know, you know what they're capable of. Maybe they're just um, just undervalued, right? I'll look at stocks undervalued. I'll bring them up to you. And then you guys let me know how you, you feel about this in the comments. Now, I want to know how you guys feel about meta in the comments. Do you guys feel like this is just just something, a new feature that they're adding and it's not going to be as popular. To me, I'm already seeing it. I'm going through my views, verified, 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 verified. I'm like, oh my God, bro. Um, so yeah, it, maybe I don't like it personally because I have the real blue check, but for the company, if I'm meta, this is one of the smartest features. Now, what they were trying to do with WhatsApp before was make it like a dollar a month or something like that. I don't think they ended up doing that. I think it's still free. But Meta has a lot in store that they can do. Remember, they have almost, what, 2 billion users now or about 2 million users. So this is this is going to be pretty insane. So let me know how you guys feel about this. I'll make more videos like this. Uh, you know, And let me know, do you think it's going to matter on earnings day when they report earnings and what they're expecting for the rest of the year? Or is this just going to be something that was cool you know, on social media and it's not really going to affect the actual company? But yeah, I'll see you guys on the next video. I hope you guys enjoyed this. We'll talk more about it. I did a quick video here, but I'm going to do more in depth on Instagram and uh, Twitter. So make sure you guys follow me there and do not get scammed in the comments. I will never ask you for money and I'll never say to contact me on WhatsApp. So I'll see you guys. Peace.